Welcome to my channel CSCB Certified Supply Chain Professional Preparation. The objective of the series of the videos I have launched into is to help the people who are trying to prepare for the CSCB examination. I request all of you to press the bell icon and subscribe my channel. My contact number is there. Let's go for the topic of the day. Most companies are to survive without ERP because you know things are going to reach the automation. So let's start how the ERP is developed and by which process it is developed. So first part as you can see the picture like ERP. First thing was like before was material resource planning and second was like a closed loop material planning then third was mrp2 and then erp so it's like take four steps it's on the fourth number that you have to reach like you have to go through mp mrp then closed loop mrp and then mrp2 then erp so uh look at the history like in 19 we have like ERP in organizations in 1980 MRP2 developed and in almost like 90s like there was ERP uh, you know the shape the software came in this form of enterprise resource planning Logan I will discuss it in detail please stay with me to uh, understand it because it's very critical and it will help you throughout your career so let's go for the first one that is called material material requirement planning it's a standalone software it's not integrated please note that it is not integrated so it is just a calculator soft sort of a thing so you put the required prediction units like you put 1000 bicycles and it give you like five six thousand for example an example so it's to make you understand like it will give you like five six seven ten thousand uh parts you need for it so it the drawback area here is it's just a calculator it's not integrated with other things your capacity your production plant it only gives you not like a calculator uh, like something like you give an input and it give you the output in number of parts simple as that don't go beyond that so uh, the problem in that it is it is not integrated so you know you don't know your capacity okay then we come to the closed loop MRP same example I quote here like if you give like 1000 bicycles you need to produce so closed loop uh, MRP is like it's it's sort of a semi integrated like if you want to produce 1000 bikes and you give the input to it so it gives you the number of parts like and it gives you your capacity of production like you have the machines and they can produce like uh, 10 or 20 or 30 bicycles per day but it will it will make you uh, give an output rather you can produce 1000 bicycles or not maybe you have the parts but you don't have the, the production capacity so difference between MRP uh, uh, and closed loop MRP the closed loop MRP also calculate the capacity of your plants and it gives you feedback that you know when you want to produce 1000 uh, bicycles in a week so it will give you feedback you don't have the capacity to do that you can only go for like 200 or 300 bicycles per week have you understand this one anything difficult let me know please versions like mrp1 and close up loop and mrp so a lot of departments are not integrated so here within the production side all things are integrated you want to produce 1000 bikes the same information go to your calculate your capacity it go to your the finance and it go to the accounting side and it go to the procurement side so inside the production it go to all the departments so this uh, MRP2 converted into ERP so you can look at this map so whatever inside the production plant is like MRP2 the conceptual difference and the ERP you can see that it's also include finance human resource logistics sales purchasing so hope you understand this one so 
ERP2 is inside the production. It gives all information, share all information live with the purchase department, uh, with the with the uh, inventory department, with the warehousing department inside the you know uh, production side. So it's, it's uh, you know you can you can understand through the snap. Look at the snap, you will easily understand that. Now let's go for the definition of uh, ERP by Apex. I will not read the complete definition, so I will I will read on the critical part so I can make you understand what it is. Framework of organizing, defining, standardizing the business process necessary to effectively control and plan an organization. So organizations can use this internal knowledge to seek the external advantage. So here at the right side, look at the snap first. You know thing it's not a software it's the process oriented software so everything has its process like if you want to have a PO so it go through a process approval process then uh, how to create it so everything is process oriented and you need to build your organization a process based organization instead of doing the random work everything will be uh, go through this software in an organized way in in in, in the processes that will make your company uh, a complete process oriented company and it give you a competitive advantage secondly it has this database central database you can see that so here you can understand what is ERP is so next we discuss it more because you know uh, if I increase the time so people will not watch this uh, videos Okay, let's go for the key features of ERP database and shared master data. A key feature of ERP system is a shared central database. So it has a central database. So placed on one location. So everybody can, you know, up to their authorities can extract that data. So this central data can be used. Uh, this minimize data redundancy, enable the various modules to create access modify the same data ERP data warehouse contain number of files are categories of detail followings are the relevant to the supply chain management like customer details you have the supplier details you have the PU details you have the sales transactions throughout the history like if you want to see the five years uh, sales then you can you know get the report from the ERP like I have this app in my company so we can get the detail so everything is live visible so let's go uh, for some important points whenever you want to purchase a ERP for your company there's some things you need to consider these are very important points so for the exam point of view they are also very critical let's go for the configuration versus customization configuration is like you purchase a SAP ERP and you sh you know modify your own systems instead of modifying the software you modify your own systems on processes as per the sap or whatever the erp you are using like you have the po's you have uh how to process the po's how to make the sales uh you know how to make the pod in the system like all these things you follow the processes made by the erp vendor I mean to say for example it is if it is SAP the reason is that you know uh, these organizations ERP vendors create system by interviewing thousands of firms in general design the system to cover the top 80% of the request functionality cost tends to raise quickly if the software is selected below 80% threshold level okay you need to remember a very important thing whenever you go for purchase of any system are you working on a top whatever level you're working whenever you purchase a ERP it should least at least fulfill 80% of your requirements so 20% you go for the uh, customization so customization is reprogramming again the word second point the customer is customization it is reprogramming the software code are adding on the software code to get the application to do what it was not originally designed to do you you, you, you keep in training the software this is very expensive not uh, it's not cheap it's very very expensive so eventually you have to modify your systems that is configuration in accordance with the ERP because it is designed after a lot of research 
okay let's go for the uh, point six and four please remember this can, can come in exam uh no let's go for the use of upgrades and release of the erp or new modules either you need to upgrade your erp like for example or you need to go for the new erp systems or modules or you need to add some modules like you have the sap or something like that or do you need to upgrade so this is revealed by technology audit so other thing to remember is that whenever you go for the new software it should have a positive roi so roi should be positive uh, return on investment i think so so other things you need to take that how much expenses you have done on the software and uh, very important thing is that like how much time it takes to deliver that update so this time is very critical uh, ERP upgrades that can come into service quickly provides the most uh, differentiations from the competitor you know as as quickly you you know you change the technology or you upgrade your ERP the more chances that you know you can compete your competitors so it's, it's a very fast growing market so one alternative is like in these days is like cloud computing so you there are like a, um, an alternative to purchasing erp software to radically update it is to use software as service as as you know this is very common software as service cloud-based softwares so many companies uh, are starting to offer SaaS directly to the their customers and other advanced features that organizations may want to add through the use of uh, upgrades is cloud computing so note that the cloud computing may use uh, a SaaS model or purchased software so here very easy is like go for now there's a cloud computing there's a SAS software which is up which is applicable uh, which is uh, on the cloud computing and you go directly for that you don't need to change the a uh, lot of your uh, resources a lot of your uh, the you know hardwares and softwares you directly go to the SAS so uh, remember that you know one thing to know that cloud computing can have their own softwares like SAS and they can purchase it from some other company so both can be done so SaaS is is something that is developed uh by the by the company that is you know providing the cloud computing and th they also can purchase the software and you can use it on the cloud ah uh, let's go for another important uh, decision remember the 80 20 rule and erp uh, erp wherever you take yourself at least 80 percent of your uh organizational setup so it it is it can it can give the support to your company up to 80 percent minimum like it cover 80 percent of your tasks so 20 percent you go for the customization so here from one thing is that look at the picture so here is the key softwares like you have the advanced planning and scheduling software so normally it is taken from the best of the breed so the concept is best of the breed the best of the breed softwares are you know the best in the market for example you have a software advanced planning and scheduling which is better than provided by sap there's a company named abc maybe it's provided the advanced planning and scheduling software that is the best in the world so it gives you more innovation and competitive advantage and you go for the Look at the picture there's advanced planning and scheduling and you go for normally these these advanced softwares are taken from the best of the breeds means the the best softwares rather than uh, only relying on erp database single vendor you go for like for the 24 percent things you go for like uh, out uh, go for the best of the breed you know the best software because it gives you competitive advantage uh, this is very critical so you 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 know need to know that 20 percent software as you go for the best of breed and normally you take it like you go for the crm or you go for the 
event management, supply chain event management. So these softwares normally people choose from the best of the breeds rather than depending on the single vendor of the software. So hope you understand my lecture. Anything you want to know and uh, you can send me in a WhatsApp message. I can give you information related to my lecture. Anything important I'm going to share with you. Thank you guys for giving me so long time. I need to support to uh, subscribe my channel. Thank you. Have a nice day.